Hey everyone, it's Duke here at Developer Inspirates. Welcome back to Daily Challenge. In this Daily Challenge, I want to share with you how are we going to use an alert view, how we can put an alert view into a view controller, and how can we put a text field into an alert view, okay? So let's open up this starter project and get started with this. Now I will open up the view controller.swift and I will delete this code okay and by the way you can download the starter project as always in the check in the description down below okay now I will um, the first thing we are going to need to do is we will need to construct an alert view well how are we going to construct an alert view we can construct an alert view with a UI alert controller and the alert view is actually just a UI view controller, okay? And and then we will um, we will configure that alert view. Maybe we can add an action to that, or we can add some text field into that, okay? And then we will present that. And the alert view is presented as a model view, a model um, presentation, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I will have a var controller and this is going to be a UI alert view I'm sorry a UI alert controller we don't need an alert view we need an UI alert controller question mark optional right so in the view did load I will do something like I will the first thing I'm going to do is I will construct an alert view and so I will do controller equals UI alert controller and the designated initializer is title we will provide a title for that let's say here's the title and the message um, hello uh, this is daily challenge okay and then preferred style we can use the maybe the default right so we could do I'm, I'm sorry the this is the UI alert controller style so we can choose uh, from whether we want to use an alert view or we can use an action sheet. And if you want to know about action sheet, you can check out the next video in the next daily challenge. And the action sheet, it's very much simpler, uh, sim similar like this, but I want to separate into a different daily challenge, okay? So for this one, we will use dot alert. So we have an alert controller, UI alert controller, okay? And then maybe I will add an action into this. Add an action, okay? And then we will do something like let's. Um, maybe this is not, maybe this is alert controller. Better name for that, right? Alert controller, okay? And then alert action equals, and then we will have a UI alert action. UI alert, not controller, but action. UI alert control action and then the initializer is title. Maybe we do something like done. This style here we can do default. Okay. And then the handler. Now I will press enter here and we will need to provide a handler here. Inside this handler, we can do something. Um, we can do anything we want. It is a function passed into this. It is actually a, a closure, right? Now I would do this. This is a, the parameter in this closure, and it is a UI alert action question, um, uh, exclamation mark optional, right? So I would do just action. And why can I do this? Because this is inferred. The type of this is inferred, right? And then the code. Now in this, I just simply do printlin um, the done done button was pressed. Okay, and then now we have an alert action. The next thing we want to do is we will add this alert action into this alert controller. Okay, so we do alert controller dot alert action. I'm sorry, add. We will need to add action and we do alert action. Okay, so that is that. Now, What's next? 
Well, we have mostly do this. We have um, everything we need for this alert controller already, right? We have an alert controller from a UI alert controller. And we have an action for that in which we have a button called done. And then we will have a done button was pressed, okay? And then the next thing I'm going to do is I will show this alert controller in what we will show it in view did appear. Now I will explain to you why we will show you uh, it in view did appear very soon. So we do super dot view did appear animated, okay? And here we will we will type self dot present view controller, and here we will do alert controller and animated a true and completion. We don't care about that. Okay. All right. Very good. Now for this one, we have to ungrab that. Okay. So now let's run this. And hopefully it will show an alert view right when the view is right. So here's the title. And then this is the message, right? We have the, here's the title and then Hello, this is Daily Challenge. Okay, so now when we hit done, the console should show that, um, okay, this is the done button was pressed. Now, what if I show this in the view did load? Well, can you guess what, what will happen? Let's run back again. Okay, so let's see what we got here. A warning attempt to present maybe you cannot see this because okay I will make it like that okay so we have um, attempt to present UI alert controller with this um, memory address on alert view dot view controller whose view is not in the window hierarchy well what happened here well when the view did load we do have the outlets, things like that is created, but the view may not be created yet. The view hierarchy at the time is not created yet. And the fact is this, this UI alert controller, it is a UI view controller. So you will need the view to be created. And then you will add by calling present view controller. Okay, when you, when you call present view controller, you will put a model, a model um, controller into the view. So at that, at the time of view did load, nothing happened yet. Okay, so we will do this in view did appear. We will do that like that. Okay. So now I want to show you the next thing is that we we cannot um, not only just to have a title and a message. It's a good way to show um, maybe uh, some to grab attention. But we can also have a text field over here. And then maybe we can authorize that. Maybe you want to put an, uh, the user to enter some password. Maybe you want the user to enter the username, right? So let's do that. So the next thing I'm going to do is go back to view the load here. Here we had add an action, right? Now we can add an uh, alert and text field. Now, how are we going to do this? We will we use the method add text field with configuration handler okay so we do alert controller dot um, add text field with configuration handler and i will press enter and this one has the text field so i will just do text field and as always this one is inferred the type is inferred and in the code what is the code it is maybe i just need to here I can just configure the text field, okay? And maybe I would do the text field dot placeholder just to show the user what is it about, okay? Maybe username, enter your username, okay? All right, and then we will need to add, um, we will need uh, to add an alert action into this. So we do let's, alert action for text field text field equals we need to use UI alert action okay title and then this is maybe 
authorized or login okay and then the style what is the style the style is UI alert action style dot default so it is just default and what about the um, handler the handler pass in a action right so we have an action over here just like before over here and this one is also inferred by the type by Swift now in this one is a little bit different because we are passed um, when the the alert controller actually has an array of text fields so we can grab that array of text fields so we're going to if let text fields text fields equals self dot alert controller okay dot text fields so we have that array of text fields and then we're going to let the text fields equals text fields as UI text field. We have to make sure that this is because this is an array of any object. So we have to downcast it as an array of UI text field, right? And because we have only one text field in our alert view, so we will get that the first text field. So we do let username text field text field equals the text field the text fields um, sub zero dot text right maybe just username so that we have the text of this text field okay um, this is question mark no what is it cannot invoke text okay so oh this is not I thought we we're using if let's there all right so now we have the username Maybe we can do like just print line the your username is okay so username just like that so just make sure that we get that uh, one okay so now let's run this and hopefully we will see that um, button and then a, a text field All right so we have a text field that's great right we have a text field like that we add a text field. But where's our button? Where's the login button? Well, the reason is we haven't add this action. This is a UI alert action, right? We haven't add this action into this alert view controller, alert controller. So let's add that. We do alert controller dot add action, okay? And then we will do alert action for text field, okay? And maybe in here, instead of done, we would do um, cancel, okay? And now when we run, there we go. So maybe we do the churn and then login. Okay, we will see that your username is the churn and indeed it is the churn. I hope that you have been enjoying this tutorial. Leave me a comment or question below and I will be reviewing comments and answering questions personally. If you want free iOS courses, visit me at developerinspirus.io. Create an account and join our free courses. Until next time, go out there, learn new things, create new products, and contribute to the world.